What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Check it out, man. Um, I want to tell y'all, I want to really try to teach y'all something, be y'all some game real quick. Bro, the key to life is motion. And just as I say that, I'm moving the camera. But the key to life is motion, man. <clears throat> what do I mean by that? When you have purpose, when you have things to do, it gives you a reason to get up every day. It gives you a purpose to uh, to get moving, to carry on. And when you're young, you start out in that purpose because you're full of energy, you're full of life, you're full of that passion that um, that drives you to get up and do things. You're full of that. You got that all going up through you, and you find yourself operating really just like kind of on autopilot because you just can't wait to get up and get out in the world and get active. But as you get older and you, you the awareness of what you're doing starts to kind of settle in a little bit more and um, you start to slow down physically and mentally in some cases, you start to recognize some of the things or, or maybe view some of the things that you do on a daily basis or have been doing for years as a chore. It's more of a, eh, I don't really, eh, eh, you know. So the years of attrition start to kick in. The wear and tear starts to kick in, and you don't attack it with the kind of energy that you had attacked it with in t early, earlier times in your life. But we got to always remember this, that. Also, the, 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 the continuation of the movement, the continuance of having something to do is, in my opinion, one of the things that keeps us going, keeps us alive. You know how in athletics, anybody that plays sports, y'all will attest to this, you work to get yourself into a certain level of shape. You work to get yourself into a certain level of shape. When you get yourself in that certain level of shape, now you have to maintain that level of shape that you're in. You have to make sure that you are continuously working out, continuously getting up and being disciplined and staying on your discipline. Um, if you miss, if you go two or three weeks without training, without working out, without running or any of that, once you do that and you miss like a couple of weeks, you're not in the same shape that you was, that you were in. The same shape that it took you eight months to get in, that top peak form, you can lose it in a couple of weeks. Because the, the key to it is the continuation, the repetition. You have to do that in perpetuity. You have to do it as long as you can. Same thing, like you see retired people. You have people who um, worked 30, 40 years of their life, and then when they finally retire and they don't have anything else to do, they kind of just slow down and eventually just wither away because now the mind has shut down and they don't have that purpose in them anymore. It's like, mm, I'm just sitting here. And they just wait to just fade off unless they can transition into another passion after retirement and that these things are all principles that we have to incorporate as early as possible early as we can the key to life is motion you got to keep moving and motion of the body starts with motion in the mind. When the wheels get to turning in the mind, this is how ideas are formed. This is how inventions are created. This is how um, worlds are shaped because somebody's wheels started turning in their mind and they took what was in their mind and they made it, they brought it into life. They, they brought it to life. Uh, you can't stop. You can't stop. You can get tired, take a break, take a vacation, but never allow yourself to get to the point where you just fade off, you just stop. 
Because even if you stop and then later on you decide that you want to get back in the swing of things, which you absolutely can, it's going to be harder and harder. It gets tougher and tougher every time you stop. Because the older you get, again, that passion might not be. When you've been there, done that, man, it's like you play football for 12 years, man. You get tired of going to training camp, taking them hits. You get tired of being in practice in the hot sun every day. And, you know, just like, oh, then in the game, just you get tired of how your body feels the next day. That's a natural process. It's the same on a job. It's the same in the music business. It's the same in whatever it is that you do, even when it comes down to something you love. But you still have to push through that, fight through that, and make sure that you never stop moving. Always wake up. Always go to bed and wake up with a purpose. Always go to bed thinking about what you got to do the next day and make sure that if at all possible you absolutely have something to do the next day you don't really want to have a lot of days where you don't have nothing to do it's like what you doing tomorrow Man. you know and if it is if it is the time you choose not to do it it's because you choose not to do something i'm just chilling that day but the next day you got to get right back on it because it don't take no time. You ever been on a good run, a good streak of just putting in work? You've been grinding, 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 grinding like a dog. And you know, in two or three days, you, you, you slack or you... Man, it's hard to start back up. It's like an old car in the wintertime. You got to turn that car on and let it sit. Hard to crank it back up. Once it's gone, it's good. But once it stops, there you go. So, y'all keep that in mind, man. Just stay in motion. Motion starts here, though. Can't get to the physical motion till you start the motion up here. Y'all stay in motion. Keep moving. And motion is um, life. One of the components of, of, of life, man. All right, it's your big brother, K. Reno. I'll catch y'all with another one real, real soon. Peace and love. All right.